Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to upscale and downscale images. And this video is full of secret sauce from the start to the end. My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that. Let's get started. So a lot of people ask me about social media, what kind of sizes to use, what kind of information, what kind of things to look for. I want to suggest a page to you. I will link it in the video description and in the sticky comment because they have a great collection of the image sizes and video sizes for different social media platforms. So this is a really good collection and social media platforms change the resolution of their pictures and the design of the pages over time. So look out for them every now and then, like every six months or so. So you can see here when you scroll down, first is Facebook. You get the different size dimensions that Facebook is using in 2020. You get some extra information for, about that, what kind of file type to use, what kind of resolution to use, all that kind of, all these kind of things. So that's really cool. There is also LinkedIn, then there is YouTube you can find here. By the way, here it says video uploads 720. And here you have to read the guidelines because this says this is the smallest resolution where it is considered full HD. So of course you can upload bigger resolutions and you should upload bigger resolutions. So there's also Instagram. There's a lot of stuff on there, Twitter and Pinterest and Tumblr. Now the question is, how do you get the picture in that size so it looks good? Take, for example, this picture. I would not go with the crop tool because the crop tool gives you a lot of uncertainty of what is going on. Not a good idea. What I would suggest to you is create a new file and here you already have some suggestions of different resolutions. You can also create a custom resolution if you want to just enter the kind of resolution you want. You can also enter uh, the kind of DPI you want, all these kind of things, the color format, the color profile. For example, for online pictures, the best use is sRGB is used in internet browsers a lot. So use that and you can save that as your own presets. For example, you can see here, I have my own Instagram presets. I found for myself that if I upload a picture in a too high resolution, which is 2000 by 2000, it looks better. Instagram is recompressing it into a smaller file size. So when you have done that, open up your file and then you can go to your other file and you can go file place and choose the file. Where is it? There it is. Okay. And place it here. And now you have the full freedom to move this around and to resize that any way you want. This is for downsampling, by the way. This is for downsampling. It's really important. This is not for upscaling. If you put the picture in there and it's like that and you upscale it, it's not going to look good. So don't do that. Only use this method if the image has at least the resolution that you want to use on the social media page. And then you can export it and you can be certain that this picture, when you export it, will have the right pixel resolution, the right DPI, the right color format, all these kind of things, because you created the file and you didn't crop it from another file, which might have any kind of settings. So here are two secret sauce things I want to suggest to you when you post pictures on social media and you know they will mostly be watched or looked at on a smaller screen like a smartphone. That means the picture gets smaller and when a picture gets smaller, it looks more blurry and it looks less saturated. So what you want to do with that is that you over sharpen it and over saturate it. So on these smaller screens, it looks good again. So you go in here and you create an adjustment for HSL like that. And then you simply push up the saturation a little bit. I would say 25%. So you see gives it a lot of color and then close that and create a live filter for unsharpen mask and make sure that this live filter unsharp marks is not attached to your HSL adjustment, but sits on its own on top of the image. So it can really influence the image. Set the radius to 1.5 and then push up the factor. So you can see, oh, that's getting sharp. Let's go with two. That looks good. Okay, so you can see this would actually in that size be too sharp and too saturated. But when you then go smaller, you can see that the image looks saturated and sharper than before. So if I turn this off, you can see that the picture 
doesn't look good in the small size, even if it looked good in the bigger size. But if I turn it on again, the picture looks sharper and it looks better. Okay, so this is how you downsize pictures and bring them into the right resolution. But how do you upscale pictures and still keep most of the quality? This, by the way, was suggested by one of my viewers during my live stream. This is using a website which uses artificial intelligence to upscale a picture. This is the image in the original resolution. You can see it's pretty high resolution. It's a pretty good picture. And this is 3744 by 5616 pixels. I have exported this in a smaller size. So this here is the smaller size. The document now has a mere 400 by 600 pixels. So when I zoom in, you can see that is pretty pixelated. And when you look at the hair here, not any detail left, beard hair down here, not very good. I have uploaded this to a website that is called imglarger.com. It's AI image enlarger. You can make a free account to enlarge your pictures and they go by two, four and eight scale ups. Here is the test image. You can see here, this is the upscaling that Affinity Photo does on its own. So we went from 400 by 600 to this image, which has a resolution of 1600 by 2400, which is four times as big. Good. So this is what Affinity Photo does. And this is what the AI does, which is really, really impressive. If you look here at the hair on the eyebrows, if you look here on the hair on the beard, of course, this is blurry, but it is upscaled four times and it has gotten back a lot of the quality. If you compare this to the original picture, let's scale this down a little bit. You can see that this is pretty impressive. And when you look again at this picture that we exported in the smaller resolution, there's no details here. You can't, you can barely see the individual hairs and the AI has recreated these hairs and a lot of other details. So this is basically the way how you would do it by the help of AI. You have to also keep in mind that the resolution of this picture is pretty small. So if you want to upscale something, you're probably going with a high resolution picture anyway, and then upscale it to an even higher resolution picture that will look really great in that case. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed all the tricks and the secret sauce in this video. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel and hit the little uh, bell button and maybe share it with other people so more people can benefit from the information shared in my videos. Thank you very much and have a good time and stay safe, my friends. Bye.